Today is January 5, 2024. I've been asked to do some temperature checks of the heat pump down here in the studio once it starts to get very cold out. Right now it is 21 degrees out, which is colder than usual. I would say a typical winter night in this part of the world is usually high 20s, low 30s, somewhere in there. I have the unit set to, uh, it's set to 76, but I don't think it'll achieve that until the uh, afternoon tomorrow when the sun's hitting the condenser and it's not as cold out. Uh, right now, the ambient temperature in the room is only about 60, according to this. Now, the air is... Um, the airstream of this is, is pretty strong and if I stand like right here in the center of the room it feels very warm which kind of works out because this is where I usually stand here in front of the table this weather station up here is right in the airstream and it's reading 75 which is where I want the temperature to be so even though the room itself might be down to 60 or 64 I don't believe it's 60 because the temperature, the thermometer on the other side of the basement reads 64. I, I can't fathom it's colder than 64 in here. Now I'm holding the probe up in the air towards the ceiling. It says 68. If I put it back down to the floor, oh, it does go down quite a bit. It go down to 61, 59 on the floor. So I guess even down here I should really keep the fan on to move the heat around but anyways it's uh, I've had the heat pump on all day because I've been working down here it was about 57 degrees on the other side this morning it's going up to 64 and uh, it's actually working pretty good I've, I've been very impressed with this equipment I did not expect it to work that well but it works quite well even in the colder temperatures so let's get a check of the output here it's pretty hot oh, that didn't work at all okay so air coming out of there this is saying about 116 degrees yeah, it was pretty stable at 116 degrees which is quite a rise if it's uh... let's say it's 70 at the ceiling that's that's a pretty significant increase yes yeah, pretty stable 116 so that's giving us about a 50 degree rise in temperature yeah, it's pretty stable all the way across there and uh, it does feel warm if I stand a couple feet back but it's still pretty warm so it is working surprisingly well and uh, it's not defrosting all that much either it will defrost once it gets below like the high 20s it does start to defrost on occasion but not much so this this really works quite well this is not at least historically this is not something I would consider as a primary source of heat because I didn't think it would work that good in the colder temperatures but you know, for the most part probably 99 percent of days this would actually work just fine if it's economical to run or not that's a different story but from a functionality standpoint it's working here's the temperature on the other side of the room it says 64 in the living room is 79 degrees I have the stove on probably 85 to 90 percent power right now and I don't know what uh, 
I don't know what the range is on this thing. I imagine that the output of the stove is probably out of the range of this thermometer thingy. I can't hold my hand in front of it. I don't want to break my thermometer either. Let's see. Looks like 181 is our number. 193. I can't tell if I'm holding this right in the airstream or not. It looks like about 180 degrees is, uh, oh, here we go, 194, 196, 203, 208, well, a little over 200 degrees is the year out of uh, the pellets, and that's at most, almost full power. In the kitchen, it is 73 degrees. In the media room, it is 68 degrees, and it just gets colder as we move towards the other end of the house. In the bathroom, it is 69 degrees. It always stays a couple ticks warmer in here because there's no window. In the bedroom, it is 64 degrees. And in the computer room, it's usually one or two degrees colder in here because there's a big window. No, it's 64 in here as well. I guess 64 is the magic temperature number tonight. And I don't know, nor care, what it is in the garage. I'm not going out in 21 degrees just to collect the temperature information in the garage. So that's the temperature checks at 21 degrees. Fortunately, it's not windy tonight. If it was windy, it would be cooler in the house.